still at a loss for words, but it's a, it's a great feeling. Army so, Green Beret Richard Stasekel's fight for fairness is nearly complete. This is amazing and it's great. And I'm so happy for everybody that's going to get justice for themselves. That's been a long time coming. It's a battle this Purple Heart recipient has been waging for nearly three years. We first introduced you to Stasekel back in 2018. Womack Army Medical Center records show doctors not only misdiagnosed his lung cancer as pneumonia, but never told him a second review recommended a biopsy. He's now stage four terminal. I feel good, you know, everything's going well and there's really no reason to keep thinking about it and dwelling on it, you know, just keep moving forward. Stasekel is married with two daughters and worries about what will eventually happen to them. Because of a 1950 Supreme Court ruling known as the Ferris Doctrine, the doctors who botched his care are shielded from being sued. If Stasekel was a civilian, he could take them to court. They should not be denied the same rights that the rest of people like you and I that they're fighting for our freedoms, but they don't have the same freedom. I'm asking for fair, equal rights. They're just asking for justice. This will be one of the first hearings we have. A series of Fox 46 investigations got the attention of lawmakers. You touched my heart you know, when I first met you, and you know, I knew this was something that was a fight worth fighting. Congressman Richard Hudson co-sponsored a landmark bipartisan bill <laughs> that was signed into law in 2019. It gives the Department of Defense nearly half a billion dollars to investigate and pay out military medical malpractice claims for the first time. They're facing a terminal diagnosis now, and they're they're facing questions of, you know, how how will my wife and children survive? You know, once I'm gone, what's what's their life going to look like? There is no way to fix the the wrong that happened. Uh, but I just hope this will bring just a little bit of peace to those families. After a year and a half of delays, the Pentagon is now poised to pay. An interim rule was issued over the weekend, clearing a path for millions of dollars in malpractice claims to be paid out. I'm hoping in the long run, this will bring light to the situation at hand, which is that there needs to be better accountability for care for the service members, you know, men and women that are serving the country. I don't know how long I'll be in Congress, but I doubt I'll ever do anything as important as this. Hudson says the I'm Department of Defense on. is already processing the claims, which are unrelated to combat or training. State school and other service members could begin to be compensated by the end of the month. There's nothing better than to see justice prevail. State school's attorney, Natalie Kwam, credits Fox 46 for making an impact. You are the nucleus from this. I, from the bottom of my heart, will always, always be dedicated and committed to you and what you've done for our military and your viewers.